Ah, Mother has found Granny in her bed cave. A nice, quiet place to discuss what's up with Small. And Major has shut Granny's door so they can talk in peace. Well, good to see that Tiny and the Iron Chicken are still having a nice time. But poor Small, he's got himself in a pickle. Grumpy, but not quite sure why. My goodness! What's that noise? Oh dear. Granny really should have got that door fixed. Now it's well and truly stuck and they can't get out. Ah, Small's going to get them out, but I'm not quite sure how. Hmm, it looks like Small has a plan. Well, Small really does have a plan. So that's the plan. Small, Tiny and the Iron Chicken will pull as Major Mother and Granny push. Amazing! They've done it! Small's brilliant idea worked. He saved the day. Granny, Mother and Major are very proud of him. But Small feels he's been a bit of a nuisance to everyone today. And he's sorry. All is forgiven. The Iron Chicken is telling Mother Wall all about her worries. That's right, Mother Wall. The Iron Chicken should trust Major Clanger. And one of the Baby Walls has had a terrific idea. They can be her radio, while the real radio is being fixed. But the Iron Chicken's not so sure. I think it's working. I think the Iron Chicken is cheering up. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's working very well. Very well indeed. Well done, Baby Walls. Excellent. I never doubted Major for a moment. Well, perhaps just for a moment, but anyway, he's fixed it. They're still having a lovely sing-song. How wonderful. And here's Major Clanger with the Iron Chicken's radio. Fixed and as good as new. The Iron Chicken's very pleased. Does the Iron Chicken want to hear the radio working? 
The Iron Chicken says thank you, but no. She trusts Major, and she's having far too much fun with her other radio. Major wants to know what other radio is that. Yes, of course. Radio Wall. It's nice to have contraptions to entertain you, but there's nothing better than real friends. Friends you can trust, like Major, and friends who like a jolly good sing-song, just like you. Oh dear, Tiny is still not feeling better. Tiny would like to hear some music. But Small isn't great at playing the panpipes. I think Small's had an idea. Now then, looks like Small wants to take Tiny to hear the music trees. But what about what Mother said? Bed and rest are best. Hmm, I'm not sure Mother would approve of this. Look at that. The music tree's tune is making Tiny feel calmer and... Ah, that's done the trick. Tiny is sleeping peacefully. Yes, thank you, music trees. Your beautiful harmonies have really soothed Tiny. Oh, that sounds like Mother is calling Small. Ah, look at that. Tiny's feeling much better, and Mother's feeling very proud. She did know best. Bed and rest were what Tiny needed. Ah, looks like everyone is very happy to see that Tiny is a lot better. But most of all, small. The Iron Chicken wants to know what's going on. Tiny is explaining how the pod thing hears songs and then plays them back all together at the same time. How amazing! From mother, from the flowers, and from Tiny and the music trees. Now Tiny wants to know if the pod thing can play other music from other places. Well, it certainly can.
Major thinks the pod thing is very interesting indeed. He wants to take it off to his workshop and study it. But the pod thing has other ideas. <laughs> pod has got what it came for. All the lovely music and singing from the Clangers planet. Oh dear, none of the froglets are willing to give way to the other. It's a froglet standoff no less. And poor Tiny and Small can't get past to get their soup. Major's wondering where the soup is. Tiny and Small explain that the froglets are blocking the tunnel. They think they're too important to move. No, perhaps giving them medals and rosettes wasn't such a good idea after all. Ah, Granny has a plan. I hope it's better than our last one. Small's telling the froglets with rosettes that Granny wants to see them about something special. And Tiny's telling the froglets with medals that Major wants to see them about something important. Oh, that's done the trick. Here they come, and they're keen to know what Granny and Major want. Major informs his froglets that he's far too important to speak to them. And Granny declares to her froglets that she's far too special to talk to them. Uh-oh, it doesn't look like the froglets are very happy with Granny and Major. Shaking off their awards. Looks like they've changed their minds. That's right, Granny. They're just nice, plain froglets again. No one better than the other. And much happier for it, by the look of things. Rest. This is very interesting indeed. Oh, oh no, I don't think that was a good idea.
Phew. That was a close one. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh gosh. I think Major may be in trouble now. The visitor wants to be friends. Oh, good. Now here's the soup dragon with another present. And of course, it's soup. having a jolly good laugh together. Excellent. Major would like to know where the visitor is from. Oh, the spaceship in the sky is too far away for Major to see. That's better. Ah, Tiny is staying here to keep the visitor company. But where are the others all off to? I hope they're coming back. The poor visitor needs to get home. Ah, Tiny is going to play the visitor a tune on her pipes. How nice. <laughs> That's something you don't see every day. Ah, that's where they all went, to get Major's very best rocket. Mother's going to take the visitor back to the spaceship in the sky. There's Small, still searching for whatever made the planet shake. That's right, Small remembers the Eggbot too. The Eggbot seems stuck. How kind. Small is trying to help it. I think Small's going to get help. Sounds like Major was right. All the notes are in the wrong order. I wonder if Tiny can sort them out. Poor Tiny. Tiny is telling Small that there's a problem with the music trees. Well done, Small, for telling Tiny that you did it. Small knows what to do, but he just needs Tiny's help first. Would you look at that? Everyone has turned up to help Small help the Eggbot. How kind. What a sight! Even a Skymoo has come to see what's going on. Small is full of ideas today. I wonder what he's got up his sleeve now.
Well, if anyone can fix the Eggbot's engines, it's Major. No, 